It will be remembered as a Watch Stephen A. Smith's eyes, everybody. Comes to an end. Stephen A. Smith, many thanks. And we will hear from James Harden here live on Houston Media. You saw it. Everybody just saw it right there. I'm going to rewind it back again. Let's see if I can. A. Smith, maybe. Look at that. Everybody see it. His eyes disappeared. His another set of eyes came in. Look Should we debate this like Stephen A. Smith? That means it just looks ludicrous. We ludicrous. The great ludicrous. I mean, a brother special. My brother from another mother. Listen to this quote. For those inquiring, no, this is not me in high school. Respectfully, my picks were not in black and white. And for the record, Lionel Richie is not my dad either. Stephen A, Lionel Richie. Uh, damn. <laughs> it's all right, though. I'm not going to get back at Luda because that's my brother. That's my brother right there. You know what? We met one time and both of us said we got to get folks together. We got to get our family members together and check out our family tree because we, we, we related. We related. All right, Luda. I got you. I can't say anything to Luda right now. Mm. <sighs> I'm going to get y'all. I don't know how. I know I'm being re redundant. I'm going to get y'all. Oh man, I am on a set right now. Something really exciting I'll be able to tell you guys soon enough, but this neighborhood is a setup. It's not even real. I think Desperate Housewives shot in this neighborhood, if I'm not mistaken, but it feels like you're working from home. If you were to shoot in this little made up neighborhood, none of this is real. Matter of fact, just cause we on stories, let me show y'all what I mean. I'm gonna go inside one of these. It's a movie set. Wouldn't it be great to work in this environment? All of it. You set it up, whatever you want. So in this video, I'm going to be exposing Ludacris and Stephen A. Smith, along with Ludacris's other characters. And then I'm also going to be exposing Cat Williams at the end of this video, because I found more connections with him and his other characters. So make sure you guys watch this video all the way through. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And let's get right into it. So here's a really good comparison of Ludacris and Stephen A. Smith. And as you can see, these two look very similar. And Ludacris posted a picture of Stephen A. Smith himself on Instagram. So he put it right in our face. And it's crazy because when I first saw this picture, I thought it was Ludacris at first. So Ludacris basically admitted that he's based off of Stephen A. Smith by posting this picture. And he also made an interesting caption. But before I review the caption, here's some more side-by-side -side comparisons of Ludacris and Stephen A. Smith. And as you guys can see, this one is very obvious. Here's another really good comparison of Stephen A. Smith and Ludacris. And right here you can see that they have the same eyes and the same head shape and the same mouth. Here's some more side-by-side -side comparisons of Ludacris and Stephen A. Smith. And Stephen A. Smith really looked like Ludacris when he was younger. But even now that he's older, he still resembles Ludacris a lot. And not only do these two characters look very similar, but they also share the same gematria as always. So as you can see, Ludacris equals 87 and Stephen also equals 87 in the ordinal cipher. And I like to bring up the gematria because it really shows that these two characters are the same because what are the chances that they look so much alike? They reference each other and they even have the same gematria in the same ciphers. As you can see, they even match up in the reduction cipher with the number 33, which is not a coincidence because as you guys know, masonry equals 33 just like Ludacris and Steven in the same cipher. And I found it interesting that Steven and Ludacris actually matched up in over 10 ciphers. Here's four more ciphers that I found where they matched up. So this is not a coincidence because the chances of this happening organically is very slim. So Ludacris's real name is Christopher Brian Bridges. And even Ludacris's real name matches up with Stephen A. Smith. So Ludacris's first name is Christopher. And as you can see, Christopher and Stephen A. Smith have the same gematria of 76 in the single reduction cipher. And I noticed that Ludacris matches up with New York City in two ciphers. And this is a connection as well because Stephen A. Smith was born in New York City. And not only do these two characters look alike and have the same gematria, but they also have birthdays that are very close together. So Ludacris's birthday is September 11th and Stephen A. Smith's birthday is one month later on October 14th. So their birthdays are only like 33 days apart, which again is very ironic considering that both of their names equal 33 in Gematria. So I looked into what I just said and I was right about it. As you can see, Stephen A. Smith and Ludacris's birthdays are 33 days apart. 
and both of their names equal 33 in Gematria. But anyways, as you can see, it's very interesting that Ludacris's birthday is September 11th, considering the major hoax that happened on that date. And he also has a song mocking this. Born on the worst day, on a cursed day, the tower crumbled on my Here's a video from a battle rapper that basically admitted that Stephen A. Smith is ludicrous. Check this out. Explain the foolishness. They got you booked losing this. Should we debate this? Like Stephen A. Smith. That means it just looks ludicrous. We now let's get into Ludacris's post about Stephen A. Smith because he literally admitted in plain sight that his base character is Stephen A. Smith. He posted this picture of Stephen A. Smith where he looks very similar to Ludacris. And in the caption he said... For those inquiring, no, this is not me in high school. Respectfully, my pics were not in black and white. So he's trying to deny the fact that this picture is ludicrous, which he's not wrong about because this is actually a picture of Stephen A. Smith. But he's doing this on purpose to let us know in plain sight who his base character is because they always have to tell you who they are. And of course, Stephen A. Smith responded and he put it in plain sight even more by admitting that they look alike. Ludicrous. The great Ludacris, the hip-hop artist extraordinaire, also acting all those Fast and Furious movies, particularly Five, Six, Seven, and Eight. I mean, a brother special. My brother from another mother. Listen to this quote. For those inquiring, no, this is not me in high school. Respectfully, my pics were not in black and white. And for the record, Lionel Richie is not my dad either. However, I would like to borrow $10 million from each of them during this. I know they got it. Stephen A, Lana Rich, uh, damn, uh, uh, Ludacris is coming at me now too, uh, the black and white, you had to go there Luda, you had to go there, that's alright though, I'm not going to get back at Luda because that's my brother, that's my brother right there, you know what, we met one time and both of us said, we got to get folks together, we got to get our family members together and check out our family tree because we, we, we related, we related, alright Luda, I got you, I can't say anything to Luda right now, now Luda got at me, Mm. <sighs> I'm gonna get y'all. I don't know how. I know I'm being re redundant. I'm gonna get y'all. So in that video, he admitted that they look alike, but he tried saying that they might just be family. But obviously we know that that's not the case. When I was doing research for this video, I noticed a very interesting detail. Here's a screenshot that I made back in November 12, 2022 because I found Ludacris post about this way back in 2022. I just never got around to making a video about it. But I noticed a very interesting detail when I went back to look at this picture. So if you notice, I screenshotted this November 2022, right? And if you look, the post has 71,306 likes. And now when I went to the post, now it says that his post has 69,000 likes. So how did he lose 2,000 likes within one year? You know, that doesn't make sense. This proves to me that they have fake followers and fake likes and fake comments because like I said in my last video, most of the internet is not actually real. Celebrities are buying many fake followers and likes to give you an illusion that they're actually famous. And don't get me wrong, a lot of these likes are real, but the fact that 2,000 likes just vanished from thin air within one year is insane. You know, that's way too many. Obviously, these weren't real people that came back to the post and dislike the photo you know these had to be bought accounts that got deleted or something because real people don't go back to an old photo and dislike it for no reason so i just wanted to point that out because that was a very interesting detail that i noticed that proves that celebrities are not actually as famous as you think they are because the internet is an illusion you don't know what's real and what's fake on there but that's another topic for another video i'll probably do a live stream going more into detail i know a lot of you guys are interested in that topic so in my next live stream i will be talking about that but now let's read his caption so he said for those inquiring no this is not me in high school respectfully my pics were not in black and white and for the record lionel richie is not my dad either however i would like to borrow 10 million dollars from each of them i know they got it so if you notice he's literally admitting that his character is based off of lionel richie and stephen a smith so this is why i said that stephen a smith is lying about them being family because how could a person like Ludacris have two fathers you know that doesn't make sense the most simple explanation here is that when Ludacris's character was created they based him off of stephen a smith and lionel richie 
He also has a song where he mentions Lionel Richie. They know he's not my dad, but I look like Lionel Richie. So at first I was just going to mention Stephen A. Smith, but then when I saw that he admitted that he's also Lionel Richie, I did some research and sure enough, it checked out because these two look so much alike. Ludacris looks very similar to Lionel Richie when he was younger. Here's another really good comparison as well. And again, keep in mind, he doesn't look exactly like Lionel Richie or Stephen A. Smith because he's a mixture of the two. So this is why they do this. You know, they mix these characters with multiple characters. It gives you an illusion that this is a new person, but in reality, it's just a mixture of two other characters that we've already seen. And many people know about this. There's so many memes online. This one says, I'ma tell my kids this is ludicrous. And it's a picture of Lionel Richie. And then this one says, the very best of Luda Richie. And this is a very interesting picture because you can't tell if it's Lionel Richie or Ludacris because they put Ludacris's face on Lionel Richie's body. And I noticed Ludacris looked a lot like Lionel Richie when he was in high school. And keep in mind, celebrities infiltrate when they go to high school and college and stuff like that. They love to post these pictures after they get famous so that people think they were a real person. But in reality, they were just infiltrating in these places to seem real. So that way, when they get famous, all of these people that saw them in high school are now going to think they're real. So another connection between Lionel Richie and Ludacris is their real names. So Lionel Richie's real name is Lionel Brockman Richie. And Ludacris's real name is Christopher Brian Bridges. Notice how both of their stage names start with an L. You know, Ludacris and Lionel both start with an L. And then their middle names both start with a B. And they both end with A-N as well. And of course, both of these characters also share the same gematria. So Ludacris's real name is Christopher Bridges, which equals 89. And Lionel Richie's real name also equals 89 in the same cipher. Another interesting connection is with Ludacris's birthday. Ludacris was born September 11th. And when you write that out, it's 911. And 911 backwards is 119. And if you notice, Ludacris and Lionel Richie both equal 119 in Gematria. What are the chances of that? You know, this can't be a coincidence. And then Lionel Richie also admitted this in plain sight by posting this picture. And it says, Ludacris asked Lionel Richie, are you my dad? And Lionel Richie posted this and he said, who did this? Happy birthday, Ludacris. So now let's move on to the third character that Ludacris is based off of. Because Ludacris is a very mixed character. And you can really tell just by looking at him. You know, he looks like many different celebrities. Because he's a mixture of many of them. But the three main people that he's mixed with is Stephen A. Smith, Lionel Richie, and Martin Lawrence. So as you can see, Ludacris also resembles Martin Lawrence. And they also share the same gematria. So Martin and Ludacris both equal 87. And for those of you that don't understand what I'm saying, basically when they create these characters, like Ludacris for example, he was artificially created, probably in a lab somewhere or who knows. You know, they've made jokes about how celebrities are made in a lab. I showed you guys that in my Zac Efron video. I'll put a link to that video in the description if you haven't seen it. But basically my point is, when they created this character Ludacris, they based his image off of Stephen A. Smith, Lionel Richie, and Martin Lawrence. So they mixed all three of those characters into one and created Ludacris. So these characters are hybrids. This is why they look like so many people. But they're always going to have the few main people that they're based off of. So another connection between Ludacris and Martin Lawrence is the fact that Ludacris and Lawrence both start with L. And they're both eight letters as well. Now let's get into the Cat Williams connection. So as you guys know, I made this video exposing Cat Williams and all of his characters two weeks ago. I recommend you guys watch that video if you haven't. I'll put a link to this video in the description. So Cat Williams is a huge connection here because recently Cat Williams admitted that him and Ludacris were at an Illuminati party. Are you related to uh, Luda? No. Um, so there was a crossroads where we were both invited to an Illuminati thing and it had to be one or the other of us. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. And the winner. This is your year, baby. So y'all telling me all I had to do was cut my hair to win the best rap album, and that's what y'all telling me, huh? To, you know, just have him in my life. He's a great, great leader. Great leader. Living legend. That's what we sitting in front of right now. Yeah. Yeah. Even though Cat Williams is right about how Ludacris is a sellout and he went through a humiliation ritual. So that's true. 
but that doesn't change the fact that Cat Williams was also at this Illuminati party. Well, we were both invited to an Illuminati thing. So why aren't people questioning that? You know, Cat Williams is in the midst of all these characters and he's involved with everything that they're involved with. So I don't understand why people think he's real, but I'm not here to argue with anybody because if you still think he's real or any celebrities are real, then you're the one being deceived. You know, you're the dumb one. So at the end of the day, they're the ones taking advantage of you. You know, I'm just trying to tell you guys the truth to get you to be aware so that you won't get deceived. But anyways, Ludacris responded to the allegations and he tried to say that he's not Illuminati. Never been Illuminati, only Illuminati. And I but it's very obvious that he's involved. As you can see right here, he's doing one eye symbolism. And recently he got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And like I always say, it's a red star on a red carpet for a reason because red is the root chakra. And if you notice, they're always going down because these are low vibrational beings. And of course, Ludacris matches up with Masonry in two ciphers. So I bring all this up because Ludacris is beefing with Cat Williams, right? And Cat Williams' other character is Allen Iverson. And Ludacris' other character is Stephen A. Smith. So when you look at their two other characters, Allen Iverson and Stephen A. Smith, this is a huge connection because Stephen A. Smith has beef with Allen Iverson. Here's a post that says, Stephen A. Smith shows his human side by reminiscing about an emotional beef with Allen Iverson. So two things I want to point out with this caption. Notice how it says Stephen A. Smith shows his human side. So they're letting you know that they're not actually human. And then they also mentioned the beef that he has with Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson. He refutes it. I don't believe I would have ever gotten the notoriety for the work that I did as a journalist if it wasn't for his crazy self. When he was close to retiring, you know, you had cats and you know, you had cats you know, you had cats in Atlanta and they were saying, I can't come down there because he and his boys are looking for me and they going to do something. I'm like, what? So this is a huge connection because what are the chances that right now Cat Williams is beefing with Ludacris and both of their other characters also had beef in the past. And on top of that, Ludacris even has a picture with Allen Iverson as well. Now let's get into the Al Sharpton connection because of course they're also connected to Al Sharpton. In my recent video about Cat Williams I exposed how Al Sharpton is the base character. So of course Stephen A. Smith has a picture with Al Sharpton and on top of that Al Sharpton has posted Ludacris in the past. As you can see he posted this article about Ludacris on his Facebook. So Al Sharpton is connected to Ludacris and Stephen A. Smith which is not a coincidence considering that Cat Williams is beefing with Ludacris and Stephen A. Smith is Ludacris's other character. So I hope you guys understand what I'm showing you here because this proves that their beef is not actually real. And of course, all four of these characters have the same gematria. So Ludacris's real name is Christopher. Christopher equals 76, just like Stephen A. Smith, Alfred Sharpton, and Micah Cat Williams, all in the same cipher. So all of their real names have the same gematria. Ludacris has this picture with Lil Yachty when he was younger. So this was way before Lil Yachty was famous. And I find that weird because this shows that these characters are industry plants. Because why does Lil Yachty have so many pictures with celebrities before he was famous? If you guys want more information about Lil Yachty, you guys can go watch my two videos on this topic. Because one of his other characters is Mace and their base character is Bernie Mac. The link to these videos will be in the description. So in case you guys didn't know, Ludacris is actually a word and it's spelled a bit differently, but his name Ludacris is based off of this word. So the word Ludacris literally means foolish, unreasonable, or out of place. And notice how the synonyms are absurd and ridiculous. I bring this up because this shows that these are just characters on the world stage. I mean, this dude literally dresses up like a character with these fake arms, letting us know in plain sight that he's not real. You know, there's so much hints that these characters give to let us know that they're not actually real. Like this music video, for example. As you can see, Ludacris literally CGI'd his abs in one of his music videos back in 2017. Here's some screenshots from the video. And even though he did the CGI in a very obvious way, because when they want you to know it's fake, they make it so obvious that it's fake so that you won't know when you're actually being deceived. Because they CGI stuff all the time and nobody notices. Last thing I want to show you guys is a video of Ludacris showing off a neighborhood 
that looks real but is actually fake so this goes with what i was just telling you sometimes we think these people are in real neighborhoods and stuff but they're actually on the set so i'm gonna show you guys that video and then i'm gonna show you guys a video of stephen a smith glitching on live tv thank you guys so much for watching be sure to drop a like share subscribe turn on post notifications subscribe to my patreon the links in the description below man working in film and television never gets old man i am on a set right now something really exciting i'll be able to tell you guys soon enough but i was just thinking to myself this neighborhood is a setup it's not even real i think desperate housewives shot in this neighborhood if i'm not mistaken but how dope is it that it feels like you're working from home if you were to shoot in this little made up ass neighborhood none of this shit is real matter of fact just because we on stories let me show y'all what I mean. I'm gonna go inside one of these goddamn houses. It's all a movie set. Wouldn't it be great to work in this environment? All of it. You set it up, whatever you want. Just checking in with y'all. Exciting things on the way. See you soon. It will be remembered as a Watch Stephen A. Smith's eyes, everybody. Comes to an end. Stephen A. Smith, many thanks. And we will hear from James Harden here live on. You saw it. Everybody just saw it right there. I'm gonna rewind it back again. See if I can. Comes to and speak. A Smith, baby. Look at that. Everybody see it. His eyes disappeared. Another set of eyes came in. Look.